The first to a shock poll into attitudes among British Muslims and less than a quarter believe Hamas committed murder and rape in Israel on October the 7th. And here are the main findings of a survey survey of 1,000 people. The headline figure is that just 24% of people think Hamas carried out those despicable acts six months ago today. 46% of those polled feel sympathy towards Hamas and 52% want to make it illegal to show a picture of the Prophet Muhammad. Of course, that's what drove the Batley Grammar School teacher into hiding three years on. He's still there. And finally, 46% think Jewish people have got too much power over UK government policy. Astonishing findings. I'm joined now to discuss them by Mark Sidwell, who's the Director of Research at the Henry Jackson Society, who commissioned this poll. Welcome to the show, Mark. An astonishing set of findings that suggest to me, certainly reading them, we have a British Muslim society with a set of completely different views to those held by the majority of the nation. Thank you, Martin. Uh, it's great to be on. And of course, we should we should start by acknowledging that that uh, you know we we have millions of, of fellow citizens who are, who are Muslim in this country, and they're not monolithic. And you know they make extremely positive contributions in many ways to our national life. But we commissioned this poll because we think it's important to talk about where there are differences of values and where there seem to be quite worrying shifts. And certainly, I think there's important information in this poll. And the thing that I think is most worrying and most striking is that when we look at these results, we see that actually some of the most extreme or radical opinions are actually being held by the youngest generation, mm -hmm. by sort of 18 to 35, and by the most educated, by those often who've been to university. That's extremely worrying, because that's really the opposite of what you might expect. And people might say, ah, oh, well, older people are more prejudiced and the new generations come along and they go to university and they're more uh, you know, uh, inculcated into into more liberal values. That the opposite seems to be happening, and I think that should be a real cause for concern. We need to think about what's going on there. Are there real problems in the universities and the attitudes that they're educating people into? And also, perhaps, what makes the difference among the young? Is it is it about online uh, misinformation? Is is that part of what's going on? Because perhaps the young are more more online than the older generations. But um, yeah, it's very very worrying trends. I, I totally agree. That really leapt out at me, Mark, this, this sense that the young, um, almost contra narrative to our expectations, are the more radicalised. And as you say, what does that suggest about what they're being taught on university campuses? One thing that really leapt out to me is what I mentioned in my intro about 52 percent wanting to ban cartoons of or pictures of the Prophet Muhammad. And we spoke to somebody earlier from the Os Oxford Centre on Islam who said this isn't in the Koran. This is a more modern Sharia based interpretation. And of course, the Batley Grammar School teacher, Mark, is still in hiding. We don't have blasphemy laws in this country, and yet 52 percent seem to be in favour of them. Absolutely. We seem to be developing in some ways an informal one. And, and there's only a risk of falling into that as being enforced by these these sort of norms that are, that are forming among some communities. As you say, it shouldn't be seen as something that's sort of deep in, in uh, the religious background. This is actually quite a modern uh, trend. We did a paper on this last year. Uh, some other extremism think tanks have worked on it. I'm pleased to say the Commission for Countering Extremism, which is uh, more closely uh, sponsored by the government, just put out something on blasphemy-related extremism earlier this year. It's a trend that seems to be developing out of some political strains, particularly out of Pakistan, uh, and that that is starting to inform uh, views inside the UK. And we need to think very seriously about how we counter that. You talk about um, Batley, there's Wakefield as well, there's, uh, there's a film that um, caused a lot of trouble. Um, it, it's really it's an important area uh, to think about. Well, Mark said, well, it's a brave and it's a vital piece of research. There's so much more to go into on halal, on public prayer rooms, on, on the dominant religion um, of Islam perhaps being coming to the, for the forefront in the UK. Mark Sidwell, the Director of Research at the Henry Jackson Society. Thank you very much for joining us today on GB News. Fantastic piece of work.